All right, what is going on, fam? You know what time it is. It's your boy, Flaming Sharingan, checking back in once again. Uh, fam, so we got some new, some new, new, okay? We got some new, new picks of base Goku and base Vegeta, and I'm going to share them with you guys in this video, give you my thoughts on them, and also tell you why I think evo might have a problem when it comes to base goku and base vegeta first things first fam as always be sure to scroll on down to the description box and t smack that link to my twitch channel i would love to have you so without further ado let's get started all right fam so when discussing base goku and base vegeta let me just say this it is all about the mindset that you have coming into um the situation when thinking about these characters you got to change your mindset up to fully accept these characters if you wonder what mindset I think you should have, refer back to the video that I posted before when we first covered um, the reveal of Base Goku and Base Vegeta, okay? But let's get into it. So, now when it comes to Base Goku and Base Vegeta, I like the character selection because it really covers one of the most iconic, if not the most iconic, sagas in the whole series. And so far, the mechanics for Base Goku really look promising, at least to me. Now, with Base Vegeta, they really haven't showed anything truly unique with him, um, which leaves me a little bit worried. Just, just a little bit. It leaves me a little bit worried. But again, when it comes to that, I'm really hoping that the normals are different from their counterparts. So I don't want to see uh, Base Vegeta have the same move set or base move slash play style, if you will, as Super Saiyan Vegeta. And I don't want to see Base Goku have the same play style or move set as um super saiyan goku or even uh vegeta blue or uh blue goku when thinking about um goku now when it comes to vegeta in particular he has a tall order to fill fam and here's why because see blue vegeta has great mix-ups he has great mix of potential um and super saiyan vegeta is just a great pick i mean come on it's the prince of all saiyans it's super saiyan vegeta now, Goku, like I said, his mechanics already look different, so I don't really have too much concern about him um, being the same as his counterparts, but Vegeta, I do. Now, let's take a look at the pics, at these pictures. Vegeta's level 3 could have been something different, if you ask me. Um, me, personally, I wouldn't have picked Galaxy Breaker, but hey, whatever. I'm not making the game, right? What I think his level 3 could have been was he could have produced an artificial moon as he did in the anime and he could have went to the great Ozaru he could have went grade 8 I think that would have been awesome I mean if not that he even could have had the uh, the uh, dirty fireworks move that would have also been pretty lit if you ask me now again personally I wouldn't have used Galaxy Breaker but imagine if he had a dramatic finish with Nappa now that would be pretty cool now my question for you guys fam is how will the move play out how do you guys think the move will play out uh, if you recall, he did chuck Nappa into the air. Now, one can say that it resembles Trunks' heat dome attack. Now, I know a lot of you guys uh, that I've read in some forums are not looking forward to that. You guys are hoping that it's not like Trunks' heat dome. Now, let's take a look at this picture, and you'll see why I think it resembles Trunks' heat dome attack a lot. Because looking at this picture here, Vegeta appears to be looking up at something or somebody. Now, my guess is he already tossed him into the air. So, again, if you recall, Trunks tosses the opponent into the air with his heat dome. And based off this picture, once again, it looks like Vegeta is tossing someone into the air. So, it could be another version of heat dome. Now, something else to point out uh, are the character pictures. They really captured the Saiyan Saga vibe, in my opinion, in my honest opinion, at least with Goku. Now, with Vegeta, you can say, meh, because he kind of just looks like Super Saiyan Vegeta with black hair. It looks like they just recycled Super Vegeta's picture and just put black hair on it. They didn't really, they didn't really capture that different era vibe that different saga vibe you, you get what i'm saying fam because in goku's picture doesn't he look a little derpy as if he's like a younger version of himself just think about that now in this picture obviously this is base form kyle ken and all his teammates are alive as you can see he still has his two teammates 
Now, my thing is this. Kyle Ken times three or Kyle Ken times 20. What I'm hoping is that they really capture the effect of that move, give you that, give you that anime feel. Now, what I'm hoping is that they color his skin red as they did in the anime. Can you imagine Kyle Ken times three or Kyle Ken times 20 and Sparking Blast? I mean, hell, take it a step further, fam. Sparking Blast level three? Holy hell. Now, the Gallic Gun in this picture, it's not really too much to say. Now, I'm wondering if you can angle it like Goku's Kamehameha, or does it automatically sh uh, shoot down if you're in the air? Or will it be like uh, Big Bang Attack, where depending on the button combination that you do, he'll either shoot it straight in front of him, or he'll angle it down. Now, Goku's Spirit Bomb in this picture, fam, they nailed the visuals. Holy hell. Now, they said it was very powerful. It was the most powerful move in the game. But it is super slow. Which, if I'm imagining this right, it reminds me of Broly's level 3. The slower version of his level 3. Which obviously can be comboed into... <clears throat> excuse me, fam. But I would have preferred if it went fast. So you can guarantee a hit. Especially since it's three bars. You know what I'm saying? But for balance reasons, I understand why they did that. They took that approach of um, making it really powerful but really slow. Now, here's a question for you guys to think about. Is there a potential level 5 possible where he chucks the spirit bomb down and if it hits, he does that thing where he turns Super Saiyan and shoots a beam into it to make it explode. Now, that would be badass. That would make me even more excited about performing that move, you know? Now, here's the sub point of this video. Concerning Evo, when will we see gameplay? Because, as you know, there's a stream on the 29th where they will show off new info about the game, about Dragon Ball Fighters. So we may get it there. Hopefully we do. Now, as stated in the first DLC video, um, early August is the, release, is the release date, as we know. And EVO 2018 is right around the corner, being held through August 3rd through August the 5th. May not sound too important, right? Well, think about this. EVO is usually where fighting games and where the fighting game community really gets hype. Because there's like super big news, something big is always revealed. Now, I wonder what Dragon Ball Fighters will bring to the table. Because if the DLC isn't out by then, will they just show gameplay footage of base Goku and base Vegeta? Not the best idea if you ask me, and here's why. The community is already pretty sour-faced about the characters to begin with. The characters themselves are already pretty controversial. So, I don't think showing them off at EVO will really make a difference or change anyone's point of view or their opinion about them. Now, showing something like Season 2 or Cooler in 17, now that will be pretty epic. Because, you know, fam, we got games like Soul Calibur 6, Street Fighter 5, and hell, maybe even a new Mortal Kombat coming out. It will really suck to see Dragon Ball Fighters get lost in the sauce because what they revealed at EVO was just underwhelming, you know? Now, if you don't think showing off something big is a big deal at EVO, check this out. Do you all recall when Abigail got showed off last year for Street Fighter 5? He wasn't well received at all. I mean, yes, obviously time heals all wounds and the community eventually grew to you know, like the character, but the fact that Capcom decided to show that off at EVO made fans upset. Now, fam, let me know, what do you guys think about base Goku and base Vegeta? Drop your answers in the comments below. Do you think we'll see them at EVO? Do you think we'll see 17 and Cooler at EVO? Maybe a season two? Do you think we'll see them at the, uh, Will we see gameplay footage on the stream on the 29th? Remember, guys, it's the 29th of July. We'll see a stream um, about more information about Dragon Ball Fighters. Let me know, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. I would truly appreciate it. Be sure to titty smack that sub button. And if you haven't, remember to scroll on down to the description box, hit Twitch, and hit me with a follow on there. Thank you all again, guys. Love you all. I'm Flaming Shine Gone, and I'll catch you on the next one.